Okay, this is the vlog for July 5th, 2018, and uh, whew, last night's fireworks were great. It was really nice being out with the cruises, who are our gracious hosts, and uh, watching the fireworks from their uh, backyard was superb, especially since I, again, have not gotten to see them uh, in the last uh, two years. So... Um, I forgot to close the door before I started this. So I'm going to be right back. Sorry, that seems like it might have been unnecessary, but uh, there's nothing more awkward than being in the middle of filming and having someone's talk. Are you talking to me right now? No, I'm talking to no one on the internet. Oh, well, okay, I'm sorry. And then it just becomes a long, distracting conversation. <sighs> so, yeah, I'll take two seconds to go close the door and come back any day. So, um, today, now that we've talked about fireworks, what did I do today? Um, well, <laughs> I did what I was originally going to do last Thursday, which is go out and help some friends make characters for our upcoming Dungeons and Dragons game. And it went really well. Lindsay and her boyfriend, uh, Proby, who gets his name from being a probationary fireman back in the military, I think, um, came down to Uncle's Games with me and uh, Lindsay made a tiefling cleric named uh, Fate and Proby made a orc fighter named Endymion, which is a Greek word, a uh, Greek name that even passes muster in the uh, spell check for OneNote where I wrote it down. I was kind of impressed because we ended up, we I was trying to suggest names to him and there's a, a random name table in the back of one of my books and we just rolled one at random. He liked it and we picked it. But uh, this was sort of an experiment because I used this book here. Xanathar's Guide to Everything, because it has a whole host of special uh, character creation tables in the middle. There we go. Just tons and tons of tables that you can roll on that give information, reasoning for why you became an adventurer, what your family life is like, um, all kinds of weird events that may have happened in your life already, and can give ideas for how to roleplay your character or explain certain aspects of your background. And I was unsure about making them do all these roles to decide all these things because I know some players prefer to just sort of pick that stuff out themselves. But I urged them to give it a try just to see how it would go. And they really liked it. Um, I wanted to have them make one character using all those tables and then make a second character uh, sort of more free for more of their own ideas incorporated but by the end of the session which took us at least two and a half hours um they were both really happy with what they had and that makes me happy uh having straight away a character who's basically sort of a tank and another character who's primarily a healer means that um whatever other people want to play it's going to be useful um It'd be helpful to have at least one character capable of doing a lot of damage at this point. So like a wizard or uh, one of the other big damage dealers. I don't remember, but um, it, it, it means that we're, we're really well covered for uh, whatever I can throw in front of them. Uh, and um, Endymion's orc... Uh, militia or, or army background will be uh, pretty useful in a couple situations too. Um, <laughs> Fate, the tiefling cleric, has a custom background that I actually just got started working on this morning before I went down to help make characters and I've spent the afternoon fleshing it out for future use. It is the background of medium. Mediums are people who speak to spirits and especially in the Dinostria world where uh, there are beings known as the hundred million gods, um, the ability to communicate ideas 
to those spirits and more importantly allow those spirits to communicate ideas to you is very very useful and i took a look at a lot of online unearthed arcana stuff that's been made available um i looked at a couple backgrounds in the sword coast adventure guide uh and there's nothing really like this um there's a, a special background which is haunted in the um curse of strahd book but that's a much more menacing sort of thing and it's not a a relationship you have um medium feels like something that a lot of different classes could take um but it doesn't have enough definition to it or special abilities to it to make it a class of its own which makes it ideal for a background um the class feature is to uh sort of allow spirits to speak through you um which i think i would call the trance i should probably give consideration to doing something like seance which allows spirits to communicate with a group of people but um since a seance usually boils down to one person going into a trance and becoming a conduit for the spirit um i figured the whole idea of a spiritual trance was a little bit easier and it's easier to role play because you can just uh write down something on a piece of paper pass it to the player and then they can in however they want to talk share the information with the rest of the party members which is fun you know it's fun to do that kind of stuff so um i'm also going to make three other backgrounds that are sort of specifically tied to the nostria one is currently called Dino Rider, which is uh, named after an old cartoon and collection of toys that I had when I was a kid back in the 80s, but could definitely be sort of um, rebranded as Wrangler or Cowboy um, in another setting that isn't as dinosaur intensive as Dinostria. Um, but it is very much like uh, a farmhand kind of a thing, somebody that works with uh herd animals or uh riding animals regularly and has sort of decided to make their living doing that um the other two are one's called a dragon reader and this is somebody that specifically uh reads the um the energies of these dragon roads that crisscross the world especially the cordinos area um and using the information they gain from these ley lines, they can predict the weather, they can keep track of who has passed over the line, um, if a certain kind of creature or uh, you know group of uh, beings has used the line regularly, you can figure out who they are. And it's very situational, um, but can be sort of a cool little aha. And that's what all the background features really should. It should be a very situational thing where it's like, you normally won't use it for nine tenths of the adventure or even maybe multiple adventures at a time but the moment that it actually comes in you feel like a freaking hero and it's great so um the last of the uh the last of the ones i was thinking of making is the one that i'm sort of uh hesitant I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work exactly um but the trial name right now is wind jockey and it's a uh practice of using a basically body sailing or not body sailing but um wind sailing or wind surfing uh using a big sheet or sail and then uh skimming along water or sand or along the side of a mountain or down the side of a mountain um but the problem with that is it's a very particular skill set but also maybe too usable um if you need to get somewhere quickly or do something you know overland travel uh all you need to have is a strong wind and this you know sailing device with you and suddenly you're trucking along you could leave the whole rest of your party behind which is one nice limiting factor but if you end up with four people that all do that uh they could get into all sorts of mischief uh that the dm didn't intend if they're not careful so i'm gonna have to take a close look at that and maybe come up with something different uh, i wanted something that sort of spoke to the mediterranean region uh the mediterranean style region um it was inspired somewhat by studio ghibli and and the uh the um 
water planes that were custom one-off made, uh, especially around the time of World War II. Um, something along those lines, but maybe not to that scale. Obviously, I didn't want to have personal aircraft be something that people were messing around with all the time. Um, but I wanted something that was a little more unique than sailing. And I'm just going to have to think about it. I might actually end up making just like surfing uh, a, a sort of um, thing uh, where, you know, in very specific conditions with the right equipment, you could uh, sort of get around in ways that mostly that, that players normally aren't able to do. Um, but backgrounds are really more about providing some like literal background information on what the character does when they're not an adventurer, as well as uh, some specialized equipment and skills that can actually be applied to a broader sense. And in that, I'm not sure I've got anything with this whole wind jockey idea. Medium and Wrangler slash Dino Rider work really well. Uh, Dragon Reader also is something that just works well as an occupation and can flesh out a character's background. Um, their skills include uh, perception and uh, arcane knowledge. So those are just generally useful skills anyway. But this wind jockey thing, I'm going to be thinking about it for a couple of days until I have something that really works. So I hit my 10-minute mark, uh, so I'm just going to say I'm Eric Spornitz, and tomorrow will be better.